So, welcome to Malaysia for round 11. Another wet qualifying, or well, started wet anyway. Um, I didn't get my first lap together. I had a collision with Cliffy, which is why I also got the five place grid penalty. So, yeah, that's that. So, we start down in P14, charge from the back. So, uh, let's go now. Five red lights. Start from P14, then Polar gets a really good start from behind us, actually. Um, not quite sure how, but he's got a little bit of slipstream from Cliffy as well, though he has to back off because he's catching Cliffy way too quickly. We're going to go very conservative into turn one. And see, so he's not actually made up any positions yet, but it's his second phase now of the first lap. And um, if you just watch the left-hand side, the McLaren of <laughs> Samurai gets absolutely swiped by Cliffy. And uh, yeah, so Samurai's gone already. And we're trying to round the outside of Cliffy here into turn four. And he has a little bit of a wobble on exit, which enables us to get alongside into turn five. And we are passed quite easily, actually. I was surprised the... Uh, Sort of uh, backed off a little bit there. Steve goes wide. Lewis almost gets caught up in it. So we go past them too as well. We're already now up to P8. Not quite sure how that happened. We're now behind Smertens. Smertens gives us a bit of a challenge actually. As you can see there. We just tucked in his slipstream. Then coming into this tight left hand up. Off camber as well. We just can't get the power down quick enough. Had to correct the back end there. And again you see just sliding around. Smertens holds P7 for now. We're going to stay with the first lap action. We're going to be following Smertens, of course no DRS yet, so we're going to try and have a look up into the right-hander, another tricky corner as well. We actually go deep and he gets the cut back, so he's not making it easy for us Smertens, although he uh, got relegated at the end of the season, he's, you know, he's in the relegation battle, he deserves, you know, he can fight these positions, of course he can. Everyone's entitled to, uh, to fight their, for their position, but uh, yeah, Smertens showing that he does have a little bit of pace. Gets picked off though in the end, and it's now uh, him, Cliffy and Polar. That are all behind me, and uh, they're all going to be having a little look at this. You know, Capola's got three positions potentially to make up here. So into turn one we go. We've got Smertens on the inside. He goes deep, unfortunately, and uh, Cliffy tries to follow me through. Polar's up his inside though, and uh, in the end he ended up losing a couple of positions. But then we catch up to Penny a couple of laps later, and uh, he goes defensive. He's not going to make this easy for us either in the relegation battle himself. And again, just defending his line. He gets so close, we're actually touching here as we come through this fast section of corners. And he goes defensive again, but this is what compromises his line now, but we end up going wide anyway, so it doesn't really help us the fact that he's uh, gone defensive. But it's all about the DRS now on the back stretch, and there is no defending when there is actually slipstream in the session. Of course, if someone leaves, then unfortunately on 2017 the slipstream went. But uh, yeah, up the inside, a very easy move indeed, and uh, we're now up into P5. Um, we got up into P4 uh, because Cliffy pitted. Now we're into P3 because Sean pitted, um, and now we're on the back of Tekken for P2. End of lap nine, up the inside, another easy move. Likewise. Um, the one on Penny and then end of lap 12 we end up pitting and uh, we're going to go on to the medium tyres so we're on to those now uh, we're going to come out just behind uh, I think it's Steve we end up oh Maxi sorry we end up coming just out behind or oh, no in front of sorry um, so yeah now P4 on the 16th lap Cliffy has a puncture so he's gone um, end of lap 16 and then end of lap 20 coming to the pits because it starts raining so unfortunately I kind of mistimed uh, my pit stops but uh, but yeah so we're on to the intermediate tyres Sean goes for another lap interestingly and you'll see how much time we gain on him uh, in this lap so end of lap 21 which is now look at the gap you can see that he's in the pit lane he's coming out of the pit exit now we've got 180 miles an hour on our speedo and we're gonna fly past him into turn one and we've got six laps now to keep him behind us, which we managed to do. Uh, there wasn't really much to show, really. Uh, he just followed us around the slipstream and gone by then. So, unfortunately, there was literally no chance of overtaking. But, yeah, another P2 charge from the back. P14 to P2, I'll take it. And, uh, yeah, the championship goes on. As you see, a confirmation of the result. Uh, next up is Monza. So, we'll see you then for the Italian Grand Prix. Thank you for watching. See you later.